name is Carlo Ratti, I'm Professor at MIT and Director of the Sensible City Lab, a research group that looks at how technology is changing our cities and the way we live in them. I've been asked by Expo 2015 to curate the Future Fruit District, a thematic area at the core of the Expo site that looks at advancement in food production, distribution and consumption. The Future Fruit District is next to the Carlo Street, in between Piazza Italia and the canal, and uh, over 9,000 square meters, it will show two pavilions, one dedicated to the supermarket, one dedicated to the home, and the piazza in between. The big challenge is to understand how the relationship between food and people will advance in the coming years. We start from the idea of the Internet of Things, exploring how over the next few years, all our objects will be connected, enabling new interfaces and in interactions. The Future Food District aims to become a unique real Internet of Things testbed, an unprecedented space in which, thanks to pervasive and ubiquitous connectivity, everything will be linked, traceable and localized in real time. But note, this is not about technologies, it's about the people. The Future Food District will experiment with new dynamics to enhance individual participation and continuous exchange with objects, fostering new interactions between people. We call it the Internet of Food and People. Diving deeper into the Future Food District, let's look at the supermarket. This is a multi-experience area based on several principles. First, products we buy will inform us about their content, their production history and movement. Products will be automatically shelved and moved, immersed in a context-aware and self-organized environment. Real-time monitoring of all products will experiment endless spatial configurations, a new digital path of association and connection. Imagine ordering food by calories, color, geographic origin, or so on. Everyone will be encouraged to become both seller and buyer, sharing homemade plates, as well as suggestions, recipes, and traditions. All vendors across the Expo site will be invited to type their products, allowing a real-time visualization of their position and movement across the site itself. Second, the house, a space where visitors will be invited to experiment new technologies and ingredients for cooking, collecting and sharing their experiences, in order to create a crowdsourced database that will work as a legacy for the Expo project. The application of new advanced technologies, like 3D printing for food in a computerized kitchen, will allow a unique experience. Interactive surfaces will suggest the most convenient recipes with the ingredients collected by the visitors. Finally, the square, a new interactive public space. The exterior facade of the two pavilions will host an urban algae farm to produce biodiesel and a vertical farm to produce fruit and vegetables on site. Both installations will act as 3D green surfaces that embrace the inner square, improving the microclimate within. The central plaza works as a complex public space hosting various functions, a restaurant, public services, green space, a phytodepuration system, and the stairs facing the water channel. We want to make sure that Expo 2015 will be a unique testbed of ideas, leaving a legacy not only to Milan, but also to Italy, Europe, and the world.